Hello everyone and welcome to another video of the Sky Channel. Now in this video I'm going to be talking about the talent tree recommendations for the crab and the atlas beetle. Now these are our universal insects. I'll talk more about the comparison between them and your class specific insects shortly after. But first of all I want to give credit to Zizu for doing the research for this video. Next, there's a few important things I want to mention before we get started. But if you've seen one of our other videos that were talking about these talent tree recommendations, you could skip this part because it's going to be fairly repetitive from the one you saw earlier. But if you haven't, it's important to listen to this. So there are three things. The first one is that these are one set of talents that we recommend. There could be other sets of talents that might work for you, which you're free to try as well. If you do not like the talents, you're always able to switch them back at a fairly cheap price. It only costs 10 resetting talent seaweeds, which is about 30,000 diamonds. So if you do try out this talent pool and you didn't like it, you could always switch back at a relatively lower cost. The second thing I'll mention is that the talent pool for the crab and the atlas beetle are identical. There are no differences between the two. So what I'm recommending for one, you can use for the other. There is no difference. The third thing I'll mention is that I'll be focusing primarily on level 34 and level 39 because that's where most of us are going to be stuck at if we're using one of these insects as our primary insects. That's because it's very expensive to go from level 39 to level 40 because you need two other level 20 insects to do that. And most of the people that are using these as main insects are likely going to be free to play or light spenders. All right, so now we got through that and we can talk about the important things. So the first question that a lot of people have been asking is, should I use a universal insect as opposed to a class specific insect? And the answer is, it depends. What do you want to focus on? If you want to be amazing at the pangolin, then probably the universal insect is going to be extremely helpful for you. However, if your focus is PvP, that's where it gets a little tricky because the universal insects lack a very important stat that is combat speed. So I've explained before that combat speed is extremely helpful. It is a game changer in PvP, especially if you are not extremely bulked up in health. However, the universal insects do give you a very unique design that you could use, and that is Guardian Shooter Shooter, which means the first row you can use as Guardians, and the second and third rows you can use as Shooters. Now, Shooters are obviously high attack, and Guardians are, as the name suggests, they are more defense focused, so they have a lot of defense and a lot of health. So if you want, you could definitely try that if you want to use a universal insect because that allows you to get buffs on both guardians and shooters so you can leave the heavy hitters in the last two rows and the first row can be guardians so in other words if you want to be a pure shooter probably not the best idea to use a universal insect but again if you want to be very big in on the pangolin damage maybe universal insect is good for you and if you want to do guardian shooter shooter then you do need a universal insect because a shooter insect is only going to give the buff to the last two rows and your first row of guardian is not going to get any buff if you use a pure shooter insect so that probably answer some of your questions now one thing i do want to mention is that if you're using garden shooter shooter that is fairly expensive in terms of evolution because let's say you're trying to unlock t10 you'll have to focus on one of them ideally before you start focusing on the other so you likely have one of them as t9 and the other as t10 uh, and then it's going to take a long time for you to get the other t10 so that's that's a note to keep in mind Okay, so I think that covers uh, most of the questions that I've been getting. Now we can get to the actual recommendations. So I'm going to break this down into level 34 and level 39. There will be some overlap between the two. And I do suggest that you watch the level 34 one as well as the level 39 one, because I'm probably not going to repeat everything I mentioned in the level 34 again in level 39, because there's only going to be a few differences. Okay, 
So level 34. What do we get at level 34? At level 34, we have 48 talents to choose from. So where do we want to use these 48 talents? Well, skill attack is something that I always find to be extremely helpful. So that's something we should target as the first thing. So we make our way towards a skill attack. First thing we get right here is 6% defense. And then we move to the next one, we get 12% attack. We move forward again, we get this buff that allows us to reduce all damage taken by 6%. And of course, I'm talking max level effects. The next one we're getting is 16% attack. And then finally, we're getting 15% skill attack. Skill attack is very helpful. It increases the damage that your special ants do significantly more than regular attack does. So definitely a very good investment. So far, we have used 24 talents out of the 48 that we have at level 34. This means we still have 24 more to choose from. Now, after the skill attack, I think one of the most important stats, especially in PvP, is health. So we want to try to maximize getting as much health as possible. So the biggest return on investment when it comes to health is coming right here. As you can see, you get 4% health per talent, right? And then if you move on to the next one, you get 4% more per talent. So this is definitely the path I want to take. So we get 6% defense over here, then we move forward and we get another 18% defense, and then we get 3% defense per insect star. So we use six talents here as well. Now this is interesting because your buff increases as you start up your insect, and then we go to the next one, and this is of course exactly what we came for. We get 8% health right here, and then we get an additional 16% health. So that sums up to 24% health. That is definitely a lovely investment we made right here. So in total, we used 20 to get to this health, and we had used 24 before. That leaves us with just about four talents to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the remaining four over here. So that gives us 12% attack. That sums up what we should be getting at level 34. I'm gonna share a screenshot now where I've circled it in red, the talents that we should be getting to make it easier for you to track. So if you prefer, you could take a screenshot and keep it for your reference. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna to go to level 39. Now the difference between level 34 and 39 is that you have seven additional talents to use. First thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to say that we're going to keep everything exactly the same as we did in level 34 because we need that skill attack. We need that health as well. The only thing I'm going to take away is that attack that we got in the end. We used four talents here. We're going to take that back. We don't need this attack for now because my focus is going to be on health. So now we have seven new ones and we have four, the ones that we took the attack back. The rest is staying the same. So what am I gonna do with that 11 talents that I got? Well, I'm gonna make my way towards this health, right? So six talents are gonna be used here, giving us a 12% defense, and then we are going to use the remaining five talents over here to get 7.5% health. So now we have used up all our talents, and at level 39, this is what your talent should look like. All right, that's all that I had for this video. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and please subscribe to our channel and definitely check out some of the other videos that we have. I believe we have a lot of helpful content that you would love to watch. Uh, if you have any suggestions for other talent videos, I know I've heard some people say that they want Whip Scorpion. We're definitely working on that too. But if there's any other suggestions or if you want to mention Whip Scorpion again, so we know that a lot of people want to watch that, please let us know in the comments so that we can prioritize that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.